Hey what's up, this is Aoku here, and I say that because of course this week's video is about Aoku, and specifically one of their new bags, the very catchily named 201903 Tiger Shard Camo. Aoku are an independent carry goods manufacturer characterized by their really strong and really cohesive graphical elements. That's something that they use on the products themselves, all over the website, and on their social media channels like Instagram, etc. too, as well as doing designs for other brands. They did uh, a little collab with Cyber Magazine, for example, with some cool graphic tees and uh, a little uh, sleeve thing that I featured in a video a couple of months ago. And in fact, I think Aoku was the most popular brand of that little roundup that I did. So high time to do something else from them. So I've got to say big shout out to them. Thank you very much for sending me this Tiger Shard camo bag so we can have a look at it in this video. So this is actually an update from a previous bag that they released. They released this model about a year ago to some fanfare and it sold out pretty much immediately. So this is a visual and graphical update adding this Tiger Shard camo detailing. We're gonna take a closer look at this new style as well as some of the extensive functionality options that this bag presents and see just how worthy of your $400-ish this nice new Tiger Shard camo bag is. One of the huge draws of this bag model is how feature rich it is. Of course, the holy trinity, the very base level of bag features are all here. You've got a nice big main zip compartment. You've got a rear padded compartment for a laptop that will fit, I believe, up to a 15 inch MacBook. And you've got a nice durable nylon strap. But it would, of course, be very, very reductive to describe this bag in this way, because it's not only packed with all sorts of other features, but lots of intuitive elements that make those features very easy to use. Take the strap for example. Adjustable straps are of course nothing new but this one has a material loop just over the chest and you can use that to hold on to along with a d-ring um, and you can very easily adjust this bag to pull it closer and higher to the body or to release it when you want to take it off. That loop doubles as a handy place to store keys or a carabiner too. The main zip is not only oversized but has this really long pull cord so it looks pretty cool when it's not in use and it makes it really really easy to access that main compartment as well. An even easier to use pocket though is this dump pocket that sits in front of the main one. That's, as the name kind of suggests, a totally open pocket. And I know it sounds like it might not be that great because you don't have anything to really secure this bar the draw cord, which can help kind of pull this pocket in a little bit. But I actually found it really useful just having that very, very easy place to just put something for a minute or to put things that you need very quick and very easy access to. These three things really show to me how the 2019 is designed from the ground up with ease of use and intuitive functionality in mind, because it's all very well and good having those wacky features and one-offs and stuff. But day to day, it's really those basic things that you're gonna use a lot. And I've got to say that makes this bag a real pleasure to use. But the feature train doesn't stop there. So I've taken this off the backdrop so we can take a quick look at this thing. And you'll see this is absolutely packed with functionality, uh, which just makes it really easy to use from a day-to-day -day perspective. So if you check out here, there's a couple of rails on the front for attaching uh, different molly compartments and that sort of thing. You can attach your own stuff if you want as well. There's another rail at the bottom here too. So you've got a little bit of personalization here. Uh, these little Aoku things, these are removable. They make a bunch of different designs and, and graphics and that sort of thing. As you can tell with this little ID one, which uh, haven't filled in yet, so answers on a postcard of what I should write as my Aoku ID. You've also got on the front here these two extra zip pockets. Now this is an interesting little design because this one here got the little uh, shock cord on there, so designed to open and close really easily. But the one on the opposite side, this is one of those YKK self-locking zips. It's the kind of one that you'll find on the acronym Prestos. So that means that in one configuration, i.e. this way, you can't actually open that, that's fixed. And then you switch it to the other side, and then, oh, hey presto, you can open it. So it gives you a nice little secure storage for one, but it also uh, adjusts the ability that you have to open and close the pockets through this cord here. Because you can have the whole thing the whole way up, and then you can use that to access both pockets on each side, or you can have it halfway as I had there at the start. So one's kind of sealed off and one's easy access, or you can just kind of lock both pockets away like that. And then you know that everything that's in there is gonna be safe and that zip can't really come open by itself. There are a bunch of other pockets on here as well. So inside this big dump pocket here, you've got a little candy sub pocket perfect for holding all your technical snacks, which as you guys know is extremely important functionality. You can't go anywhere without little snacks. And then if you open up the main compartment here, there's this little pop-up pocket here, 
which is great. This is actually really simple functionality. It's just attached to, to two molly rails kind of inside the bag. But yeah, it works really well. It's got this little pull cord at the top so you can pull it up and down. So it's good for easy access to small things so you're not digging around in the bottom of the bag, especially when you've got a whole bunch of other stuff in there. So that's really cool, I think. There's two more rails on the opposite side as well, as well as two sub pockets in that compartment as well. So there's no shortage of different places to carry your stuff. So yeah, in short, it's got a pocket for basically anything. So even if you are a very heavy goods carrier, I suppose, or you just like things super compartmentalized and organized, then uh, this bag is uh, will do you right. And I think this is probably, if not definitely, the most fully featured messenger bag that I've got from that kind of perspective of like different places to organize and put things. And um, what I'll do as well, I'll link in the description the official Aoku video about this bag, um, specifically the black version that came out last year, because that one does a really, really good job of succinctly showing all the different functions of this bag and all the different ways that you can put stuff in, because there's loads you can do with it. And uh, yeah, it's, it's pretty cool watching. There is a three point harness on the strap, which is something that I always like because it makes the bag a lot more stable and more comfortable to carry in my opinion. But what they've done here, they've uh, attached it in such a way that you don't have to use this all the time because you can just clip it to the opposite end of the strap. And then it just kind of sits there and doesn't really do anything. But then you can unvelcro it from this side and attach it onto the, uh, chest part of the strap I suppose and then kind of activate that functionality so that's another cool thing and it's another example of where Aoku has really thought about usability and design because for most bags if you don't use a three-point harness you either have to like fully unclip it or just have it dangling down by your side but this actually has a little solution for that micro problem if it's not obvious enough already collectively I think these features are great I think Aoku have done a really good job of making this a very full featured product and as I say there's nothing crazy there's nothing off the wall here you know it doesn't transform into a hat or explode on contact or anything like that it's just loads of things that individually are useful and intuitive and when put together it makes for guess what a very useful and intuitive bag but we've also got to think about the design too and I'm not just thinking about that very overtly technical look that you get from having all these features and functionality which let's face it I think in terms of that, it looks pretty good. And I'm not even thinking about those transformative elements and the bits that you can customize yourself, even though, again, I do think that is a really cool benefit. No, the most important bit for this bag is, of course, that very visually striking Tiger Shard camo that's printed all over the bag. And that's something that we've not seen really in an Aoku product to date with that all over print. And it's not really something that we see in carry goods generally. This really is an ultra unique element of this design. I've certainly never seen it. And it is intensely different to those 99% black bags that you find throughout the market at pretty much all price points. This presents something that's very, very futuristic in its design. It's very cohesive with the rest of Aoku's design language and their products. This will fit right into their other things. Um, it has some resemblance to Acronym's designs as well. If you compare this to the pattern that you'll find on the Acronym Vape Max or the Acronym Prestos, for example, there's definitely some, some similar inspiration there. And I wouldn't be surprised if Aoku partly took inspiration from Acronym when coming up with this Tiger Shard pattern. I'm definitely gonna need some Racer Pink Prestos so I can have fun matching them with this bag. But because of this, uh, it's a very high energy and it's a very fun design, I think. And therefore, it's gonna fit together nicely with high energy and fun outfits. Kind of think of it similarly to the uh, foil laminate finish um, acronym Third Arms. I do genuinely really like this pattern for all the reasons I've mentioned and I've already found a couple of outfits where I think this will work better than a plain black bag will so it's definitely fulfilling that role and doing something that no other bag will do. However I do appreciate that this design is probably not going to be for everyone. Um, it's very very loud that's for sure um, and probably too much for a lot of people because let's face it, there's probably a reason why so many bags are plain black. It's because they are designed for ultimate versatility and being able to wear just kind of day to day. And if you don't want them to, they don't have to attract huge amounts of attention. Whereas you can guarantee that this bag always will. It definitely has the capacity to overshadow an outfit, particularly if you're into wearing your all black stuff, this is really gonna stick out like a bit of a sore thumb. And in fact, might detract from something else you're trying to do if you're wearing like some interesting silhouettes or other stuff like that. That's the only thing holding me back from wearing this day to day because sometimes I do just want to dress a little bit more low key and you just need something that's going to go along with that. But of course this bag isn't trying to do that. This bag is trying to be fun and it's trying to be flashy. So in outfits that go along with that, 
this is gonna work perfectly. And you can guarantee, of course, that functionality is not gonna suffer as a result. Another thing to say on the pattern is that it's not quite pin sharp. Uh, I know with a material like this, it's very, very difficult, if not impossible, to print with absolute perfection on this. But you will notice if you look at it close up, and there is some bleed on the edges of those white shard patterns. It's not noticeable at general outfit viewing distance, so I wouldn't call it a problem, but it's just something that I felt I should mention nonetheless. Because if you're looking at your pair of Prestos, for example, that have that really crisp, clear pattern on, it's not quite the same level as that. This pattern might not be to your taste on a full messenger bag, because let's face it, it is very, very loud. But where this pattern really lends itself to being used effectively, I think is on those smaller details and like on a pouch, for example. In fact, Aoku did release a little pouch with the same Tiger Shard camo design, and that was the thing that sold out first. So that's definitely something that I think it would be worth Aoku doing more of, of having these slightly smaller options that have this full all over pattern. Like you get all of the fun, but with much less risk of it taking over the whole outfit. So in conclusion, this was certainly an experimental release because Aoku are really doing something here that no other bag manufacturer is really doing, but I feel like it's a successful one, especially by building on a bag model that has been so successful and is so feature rich and just so usable um, and then giving it that twist that makes it a bit more interesting. I feel like that was definitely the way to go with this one. I would love to see more products from Aoku that rather than just using these graphic details really go to town like they did on this Tiger Shard bag and print it all over everything. I think there's 101 ways you could do that and have it be really successful and like this present a really cool and a really unique solution. Um, in a bag market which aesthetically, certainly in terms of color and patterning design, doesn't really have too much going on. It's certainly a premium price bag, there's no getting around that, but I think it does a lot to justify that price. The construction, in fact, something that I didn't talk about a huge amount, but that's really, really good. They've used good hardware, the materials are good, everything feels sturdy and durable, and you combine that with very high levels of functionality and very high levels of aesthetics, I suppose, a very unique and a very striking and a very cool design. And um, you've kind of got all the bars in the RPG game turned up to the max. This thing has a lot of stats on it, plus 50 carrying capacity plus 20 coolness this thing's pretty much best in slot that's what i think anyways but it's over to you what do you think about this new bag design are you a fan of that tiger shard camo or do you prefer the older black version of the 201903 that aoku released last year maybe that's more up your street having a little bit more of a low-key styling but still with that maximum functionality that this bag presents let me know what you think down there in the comments because I'd certainly be interested to know because I plan on wearing this quite a lot and uh, no doubt Aoku would be interested to know as well what people think about this brand new uh, Tiger Shard camo design that they've come up with. Um, yeah, let us know what you think and if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like because it's super appreciated and as always, thank you so much for watching and we will be back next week with another video. Next week's video, of course, is gonna be after Christmas. So hope you will have a great Techmas. Hope you give and receive some great Gore-Tex gifts. And uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see you then. Maybe I'll have some new cool Christmas pickups to share as well.